All right, so in this video, I'm gonna solve the equation 100 to the power of x is equal to 400. So to solve this, I'm gonna first start by taking the log of base 100 on both sides. So I get log base 100 of 100 to the power of x is equal to log base 100 of 400. Now, if I have something in the form log a to the power of b, this is equal to b times log a. So I can move this x to the front, and the log base of 100 and 100, these two cancel out. So my left-hand side, I have x is equal to log base 100, and I'm going to rewrite 400 as 4 times 100. So now I get x is equal to log base 100 of 4 plus log base 100 of 100 which cancels out to get 1. So I get x is equal to log base 100 of 4 plus 1. Now log base 100 of 4 is the same thing as log of 4 over log of 100. Now Log of 4 I can rewrite as log of 2 squared, and then I can move the 2 to the front. And log of 100 I can rewrite as log of 10 squared, and I can move the 2 to the front. So now I get 2 times log 2 over 2 times log 10, which these two 2's cancel out, and log of 10 is just 1. So I get log of 2 plus 1, which is equal to 0 0.3010 plus 1 which is equal to 1.3010. All right, so in this video, I'm going to solve the equation 4 to the power of x plus 4 to the power of x is equal to 16. So to solve this, I'm going to first start by factoring out 4 to the power of x from my left-hand side. So I get 4 to the power of x times 1 plus 1 is equal to 16. Now from here, 1 plus 1 is 2. So I get 4 to the power of x times 2 is equal to 16. And if I divide both sides by 2, these two cancel out, and I get 4 to the power of x is equal to 8. Now from here, we have a more simplified equation. So to solve this, I'm going to make these two bases the same. So 4 is the same thing as 2 squared, and 8 is the same thing as 2 to the power of 3. And if I have something in the form a to the power of m to the power of n, this is equal to a to the power of m times n. So 2 to the power of 2 to the power of x is going to equal 2 to the power of 2x. So I get 2 to the power of 2x is equal to 2 to the power of 3. And because these two have the same bases, these exponents are equal to each other. So 2x is equal to 3 and x is equal to 3 over 2. So this is